What's up, y'all? It's Queen J. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so I'm going to share this real quick because I think I only got like three minutes on here. All right, so this morning, my prayer time, it was one of those prayer times, you know, when you be like just going through it and you and there, <laughs> you know, snotting and going on as you're crying out to the Lord or whatever. It was one of them kind of sessions this morning. But anyway, so I'm, so I'm talking to so I'm talking to God and I'm just telling him all this stuff or whatever. And like, so my, one of my things is I struggle with perfectionism trying to be perfect in every way so like you know we know that we should be self-evaluating throughout our day of course to making sure that our we're taking our thoughts captive like analyzing our motives behind the things we do and we say you know but like this is something like that goes on my on in my mind like all day every day and but it's so much so that it's put me in this place of like perfectionism trying to be perfect and so like I, this morning my prayer time i'm like crying out i'm like oh, like if i'm not supposed to be perfect like how what do i change my perspective to if i'm not striving for perfection of perfectionism what am i striving for and you know and like i'm, I'm like crying while i'm telling this and all of a sudden like holy spirit just dropped in my spirit obedience and i was like i ain't had nothing else to say after that actually like it really it made me like it was one of them like you right you right like i stopped crying like it, it was just it, it was a moment of comfort it was a moment of like girl i didn't told you but not in a bad way it was more so like it it was just real simple obedience like i'm like that makes so much sense like stop striving for perfection he didn't ask me to be perfect he asked me to be obedient. Okay, and so afterwards, after that whole conversation, I was like, okay, well, let me open up in your word. So I do this thing where I'm like, just randomly open up the Bible, see what it lands to, and it's usually pertaining to, if not what I'm talking about, then maybe something later, right? So I open it up, and like, what I opened it up to, the whole chapter literally pointed out so many things that I was talking about in my actual prayer time. So, but anyway, but the key verses that come from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 7, I'm going to read them real quick. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding and all the ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths be not wise in thine own eyes fear the lord and depart from evil because you know we have to trust in the lord with all our heart lean not on our own understanding we cannot be obedient if we're out here doing what we want to do because it's probably not what he told us to do and so uh where it says um in all your ways acknowledge him so you know that's why we're spending all this like meaningful time with him not just in the morning or in the afternoon when you pray but all day, talk to him all day, and he shall direct your paths, allow him to lead you through his Holy Spirit, to guide you in the direction that you should go. Be not wise in thine own eyes. If I'm wise in my own eyes, clearly I'm probably more than likely not being obedient because whatever he has told me to do is probably something that's going to cause some pruning, some growing, some refinement. I'm going to try to avoid it, not on purpose, but just naturally to try to do what I want to do. But anyway, I think I'm out of time, but that was the nuggets. Be obedient, you guys. Be obedient.